Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and let's take a look at prefixes for S3 objects. Very simple uh, concept is that they are basically the virtual folders for your objects. But I thought it'd be really interesting to see how far we can stretch this idea of creating prefixes. So what I'm gonna do is um, go over to our environment. This is on AWS example. So again, I'll just show you where this is. It's on GitHub, at Xampro, Co, AWS examples. And I've opened this up in Gitpod, use whichever environment that you like to use. I'm gonna make a new folder here. I'm gonna call it prefixes. And in here, I want to um, just go ahead and create a readme.md. And I just want to create a new bucket. So we'll say AWS S3 make bucket S3 colon slash slash. This will be prefixes fun and A, B, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, use whatever works for you. And we'll go ahead and copy that. And now we have our new bucket. And what I wanna do is I wanna see how far we can push those prefixes. So what happens if let's say we just wanna make a folder and not necessarily uh, a file. Can we just do that by just providing the prefix with a forward slash on the end? So let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna say AWS S3 um, put object. And then here I will supply the bucket name. So let's say bucket. And I'm gonna say key and we'll just say hello forward slash. And let's say if it can take that. Okay, so it's complaining because there's no body. I'm just gonna give it no body. So what if I do this? Can I do that? say body and I'll just leave it blank because it probably wants a body at the very least. And uh, I don't know why it won't make me an equals there. Just gonna make sure this is all correct. Probably the reason why this didn't work was because um, this is not S3 API as per usual. So I'll take the body off and I just wanna see if it'll actually create this folder here. Okay, we'll hit enter. And it's saying it's not correct. What's not correct about it? And it's showing me the commands for S3. I don't think it copied the command. I'm gonna try this again. Copy, paste, enter. There we go. And so it looks like it just created a folder. We'll go over to our bucket here and take a look. This bucket had some kind of name, prefix fun, and we'll go in here. And so it created a folder. So we can create folders by not supplying a body and just having a forward slash there on the end. Let's see how far we can push this. So, Create our bucket, create our folder, and create many folders. So there is some kind of limit, limit for prefixes S3. Let's go take a look here. What is the length allowed? I'm not sure, so I know it's in my course. Lecture content will say, what length can a uh, can a, an S3 object with prefix name be? A maximum of 124 bytes. All right, so I'm gonna go to Laura Mipsum. And we'll go here. And I want 124 bytes. So according to this, this is 124 bytes. Now I don't know if it includes the spaces or not, but let's push it to its max. So I'll take this and we'll go back over to ChatGPT. Turn this into a prefix with slashes between the words and stop and then shorten the entire length to be 1024. 
Let's see if it understands what I'm asking. We'll give it a moment, okay? All right, so after waiting a little while, it uh, tried to do something here. It still has the periods in here, which is not great. Um, so what can we do to make this a little bit easier? I suppose we could just replace it ourselves and just do some formatting here. So I'll go here and I'll just take this out and I'm gonna go replace it. So let's say edit, replace, and for any space, I mean, it should only be for what we selected. Uh -huh. I don't want the whole frickin' file, just what we, we select here. Um, okay, I'm gonna use a, a markdown here. I'm doing like a forward slash, it's all the way down here, and I'm, so I'm just substituting it. So I'm saying space, substitute, hyphen, or sorry, backslash, forward slash, forward slash, G. Oh my goodness, how do we do this? It's only for the selection I want it to change. Okay, let's go back here, edit, replace, and I only want it to be the selection. Find in selection, there we go, okay, that's better. And so then I'll put a forward slash here and we'll replace all, there we go. And then if there is a comma, we'll replace that with nothing and we'll say replace all. Replace all, and then we'll say period and we'll replace all. Okay, so now we're kind of getting something here. I'm gonna go ahead and count this and see what we have. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bring this into Ruby. So I'll just say Ruby or IRB for Ruby. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this string. I'm gonna say S for a variable and then paste this in and hit enter. And I'm just gonna get the size of it. So it's saying 992 characters. So we are a bit short here. So maybe we can bring it up by a little bit. And I'll just put some things on the end. And we'll go grab this again. Again, we're trying to push this to its limit and see what it can do. I don't think it grabbed the whole string. We'll try this again, clear. Um, S equals this. S dot size, 116. So we're pretty close. Um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I'll put the forward slash on the last. And so that I'm hoping as an experiment to see, can we make the key literally this long? Now, if we made it this long, there would be no room to put anything in this folder, but to see if we can do it is the fun part. Does it have a practical, practical use case? Absolutely not. Let's go ahead and see if it'll let us do this. So I'll just exit out of the Ruby here and we'll hit enter and we'll see what we get. And it actually created it. So let's go back over here and take a look. And did it actually make it? There we go. So we got lorem, ipsum, dolar, sit, Amet, and we could click here all day, all day, because that is how long it's going to be. That's how silly it is. Now, the next thing I want to do is let's go take a look at what um, list objects return. So say AWS S3, I'll just do it the simple way first, and maybe this will be enough. And notice it's only returning uh, these top ones, and it's not returning all the interior ones. That's really interesting. I'm gonna make it a little bit more complex and we'll say S3 API list objects. And we'll just specify the bucket as such. There is uh, one mistake here. I need to have um, this off of here. And so notice it's not breaking these up as separate folders. It's just one single folder. If there was something that we inserted somewhere else, I'm sure that would happen. But uh, do we have enough room to dump on another file on here? Because if 1024 is the limit, we should not be able to um, uh, push an object here. So what I'm gonna do, go to the bottom here, is I'm going to copy this, paste it. We'll say, try and break the 1024 limit.
and then we'll go back to the bottom here. And so that's the key. And I'll just say here, hello.txt. And we need some body. So I'll just say body my file.txt or hello.txt. And then before we do that, I'm just going to make a new file here. We'll just say hello.txt. Hi there. We'll go back. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to be a bit consistent here with our parentheses. And this should not work because the limit should break it. Must have a value to a path. Well, I thought it was going somewhere. It's, uh, it looks like we're in the ch uh, checksums folder. I'm just going to go into the prefixes here and make sure we're in the correct place. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this. Make sure you're in this folder. Your key is too long. So we can create an entire folder name and not have any files in it because it's too long. But uh, yeah, I thought that would just be kind of fun to do. And, and just to make it clear that you can have as many prefixes as you want. Um, but that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up these folders. I think I have a, another bucket from uh, earlier that is just sticking around. So I'm going to get rid of uh, the prefixes here. Empty the bucket. And we'll go back over to S3 here. And now we can delete this bucket. While I'm here, I'm going to just delete anything else that uh, is junk. So I think we did checksums earlier. If we didn't delete it, like I'm not that concerned about spend in S3. So, um, you know, for the most part, we're pretty good at uh, getting rid of all the buckets. But, you know, if there's stuff that's laying around, you don't want it there. Make sure you're diligent and you get rid of it. Okay, I don't know when that bucket was created. But uh, yeah, there's, there's prefixes. There you go. See you in the next one.